Yo, what is up everybody? And today we have another informative video. I wouldn't say informative, but you know, just let's talk about the community. Um, and I understand a lot of you guys do not want to hear me talk for 15 minutes, but for all the people who do listen and hear my opinion, I really want your feedback, so please take time in your comments. Do not give me a sentence comment of explaining like, yeah, I agree with you, Loki. Don't do that. Just give me, I might pin you if you actually like, you know, show effort in how you feel about this whole video. And if you guys watch the whole video and you guys like it, leave a like, obviously. And I appreciate you guys for actually watching the whole video. So we're going to get straight into it. We're going to talk about, first of all, like my YouTube, and then we're going to talk about the tryhard community itself. But let's talk about the tryhard community first. My bad. Um, so now that this new casino update rolled out, Obviously, pass mode has been changed. That's the new thing that all the tryhards are talking about. Anybody who's let me let me actually make this very clear. Anybody who's mad about the passive is a passive popper. You guys realize that, right? Anybody who's mad about passive or passive poppers, I think this is a brilliant idea. The fact that you cannot go passive mode because once you kill somebody, you have to wait, I think, 30 seconds. And I think it adds up. So if you kill multiple people, I think it stacks. I'm not sure, but I think that's how it works. And I don't know if it's just 30 seconds. It could be a couple minutes. But um, I think that's amazing. I think that brings the fun and competitivity. And I don't even know if that's a real word. I don't know if I just made that word up. But anyway, it sounds like it's a real word. But <laughs> um, I honestly think that will make the tryhard community way more better. Uh, imagine someone he, coming out of passive mode killing you and then trying to run away from you because you can't go past well they can't go passive it's going to be very embarrassing and i feel like if people were going to put that into exposed videos and rip videos it would be really funny to watch somebody one o you run away from you because you're in passive mode and like hide in an apartment um but you know there's always going to be those one o players but nobody takes one o players serious and if you guys actually think about it from where we were about five six months ago to now, a lot of 1-0 players are not here no more. You guys realize that. So, everyone who doesn't 1-0 anymore and doesn't really... I'm not saying... A lot of people get this, like, wrong about me. I'm not saying don't take the game serious. I understand. Sometimes you're in the competitive and you're versing somebody. I get that. But play it like a real person who's trying to be competitive. Don't be petty. A 1-0 is a petty player. Be somebody who's like, yeah, I don't like to lose, but I will give it my best. And if I do lose, oh well. But I'm going to, like, I'm going to play... Like a tryhard. A tryhard is not one owing and they're like giggling and they're running away. You know, a tryhard is like, you know, we're going to battle until I run out of ammo, until I got to go, until I get booted. Whatever, we're going to keep battling. RIP videos, like I said multiple times in all these videos, they used to be 10, to even 20 up on somebody, not 1 to 5. I feel like, I feel like the minimum of a RIP video is maybe up by five. If you're not up by five, it's not really an RIP video. That's just like a mon. That's just a little montage to me. But you know, this is just my opinion. So you don't have to agree with me. You you can play by your own rules. But I really think the tryhard community is getting way more better. Now about my channel, I know a lot of you guys say like, "Oh, Loki, you're the clout lord. You beef with everybody." I think I'm gonna actually stop doing that, guys. And I know, I know a lot of you guys will be like, "Oh no, you are, you have all the drama. It's really entertaining." That does not mean I'm not gonna talk smack about people. That does not mean that. But I want to make the tryhard community better, and the only way the tryhard could try hard community can get better is if beef stops if everyone works together and the problem is with all these youtubers is we're all sided up you know we're all on different sides and you know a couple months ago i tried to bring them all together but everyone had an ego everyone wanted to say oh well i'm a better youtuber than you or i get more views than you or i get all this and we're not putting the community before our ego and that, that that's been a problem with nearly every youtuber maybe me a little bit not as much as i know other youtubers um but i think that's the best way for the youtubers to make an impact on the community and I understand a lot of you guys say oh my gosh yeah you're just youtubers that's or what about us what about us let me get to that point right now everybody who watches this video majority of you guys are tryhards uh, and majority of you guys watch other youtubers besides just me and I'm not saying you guys look up to us like we're your you know your role model but a lot of you guys enjoy our content um, and I feel like if every youtuber were to actually show that GTA can get better if you make it like if you actually have an effort and I apologize for stuttering I'm not I didn't record any of this so this is just off my head so yeah I apologize for that but I feel like if every youtuber were to make an effort to show that it does not matter 
if you get killed in the game. Just to have fun. That's that's the sole purpose. To, in 2013, for all my people who are older, uh, so probably maybe 17, 18 year old, 19 year olds, even 20 year olds who got the game back when we were younger, we bought the game because GTA was fun. With all those glitches, all the money, having fun with your friends. Even Some of us even did parkours. But as we got older, we got more competitive, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? But what we did now was a lot of these young, younger players or people who joined in 2017, they're watching these YouTubers. And I'm not saying, like I said before, it's not like you guys are, it's not like we're your role model or anything. But a lot of these 2017 tryhards look up to the older players or the people who have who are more known in the community and want to play how they play. Now I'm not saying, oh, I want to be just like low key X. I want to be like Illex. I want to be like shoot 'em up. I want to be the next Motmus. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying they will watch how you play and then put it and make it into their own style. But when you have all these YouTubers who like manifest around this one O stuff and these petty kills and these you know car decking RC kills and all that passive popping stuff. Eventually they're gonna keep their like, back. Well, if the YouTubers do it, I can do it because that's the new thing. Back then, we didn't do none of that because obviously we were competitive. The YouTubers back then like reconciled me. Um, ugh, I can't really name that many. Uh, even shoot him up to be honest. He's an old head as well, but. YouTubers like that, we were competitive because there was no such thing as that. There was no such thing as cheap kills. We would, you would expose somebody by body them to such a point. When you see all these montages today, all you see is 1-0 kills or orbital kills. And nobody, and if you look at your comments, for people who do these, who upload 1-0 kills or a montage, you can see how it affects your own channel. If you look in your comments and all you see is a GS, if you guys don't know what that means, I can't really say because I don't want to get demonetized. But if that's all you get, those people are not watching your videos. They just got the notifications and they're going to say uh, good stuff right away for you and then click off the video because they know it's just a montage. But if you show that you actually have skill, people will watch that. They want to learn how to do that. Does it take? Is it hard to learn how to 1-0 somebody? No, it's easy. You don't even need to look up a video on how to 1-0 somebody. You can just do it. But if you want to learn RNG, learn how to switch kill, how to sidestep, all that stuff, you have to look. If you want to learn how to play base, you have to look at base bonds. And even though I don't like Illix and I'm cool with Arson, but they both made base montages. And I don't care, whatever. If you think they're trash, whatever. That's on. That's your opinion. But they did do something like that. They showed base bonds, how to be good at base, right? And, like, same thing with Motmus, learning how to snipe. Those are videos people like to watch. They want to learn something. But if we have YouTubers who push out all this 1-0 content and this little, you know, these little petty kill content, you're not teaching the community anything. If anything, you're just teaching the community how to be petty, how to be trash. You're killing the community. So... With me, I understand that, like like I said before, I beef with a lot of people and stuff. Honestly, I don't really have nobody to beef with anymore. Like, literally, I, I don't know anything to do. I, I don't have anything to do and stuff. But I want to make the community way more better. That's why I always start these lobbies where everyone can fight. I don't care about orbitals. I don't care about RC. Cause I don't care about anything. I rarely... I don't care if you upload me. It's whatever. I like to play the game. I bought the game back in 2013 because I wanted to have fun. Right. Every time I play with my subscribers, I have fun with them. You know, we, we do silly stuff. We, we have funny deaths. You know, sometimes we even go into all out war. You know, sometimes we'll do parkour, just be a noob sometimes, you know, and it's just because I want everyone to have fun. I don't want everyone to be like, oh, my gosh, I can't die. Like and for all my youngins who want to be a YouTuber, who want to be the next mom the next shoot them up, uh, the next Illex, anybody or the, maybe even the next single bull. Right, for all, I want you guys to know not to be scared to go out there and lose because if you lose, you can get better. Like, oh, that person beat me by five and he had better sniping skills, so guess what? I'm gonna practice sniping so next time when I run into him, I can beat him up. That's what you need to be learning. It shouldn't be, oh, I got one old, he exposed me, my career is over now. I gotta make a new account, I have to change my account username because I don't know what to do anymore. And that's what all these YouTubers have been doing. I'm not saying they're switching like their account names and stuff, but they're making it such a big deal where people are afraid to fight now. If you sit in pass mode because you're scared someone's gonna come in the lobby and kill you, what is that what is that making you look like? 
I will let you guys answer that, right? There's certain times where I can understand you go passive mode. Don't get me wrong. I, I go passive mode sometimes. I'm not going to lie. But there's certain times where it's okay to do that. If you're on the beach and there's a jet going back and forth on you, sure, you can, you can try to risk it and shoot that RPG, but the odds of that happening are very low unless you're like a god or something, right? I can understand if you went passive mode because of that because the, the jet's really OP to somebody who's on ground, right? Now, let's say you're in a jet and somebody else gets in a jet and you go passive mode because that jet is outplaying you, right? That's making you look scared to die. That person just outplayed you. Now you're going passive mode. That's not outplaying them. That's just saying, oh, yeah, you beat me. You're better than me. I'm going to go passive mode because I know I can't win. That's just giving up, basically, right? And I'm not saying, like, okay, like, so you're telling us just to lose and all that stuff. I'm not saying it's just to lose, but make an effort, you know, make an effort to actually play the game. Because if all you do is fear passive mode, you're, you're not you're not going to have fun. I guarantee you it's going to get boring. There are so many players that I've known who are 1-0 players, and they've actually told me that just playing out of passive mode is way more better. And I know that they really, there was a horrible grammar right there, but it's much better to play out of passive mode because you have more freedom, right? And if you sit there and you're complaining about, oh, I can't come out of passive mode because someone's sitting in their orbital. So you're, you're letting your self-worth being overpowered by somebody who's sitting on a cannon. That, that's what you're saying. It's not that you're better than the person in the cannon. It's just that you're scared of the person in the cannon. Right? If I was you, just go out, get that orbital, and boom. Let that dude leave. He's not going to prove anything. He's not going to... He or she is not going to come over there and kill you. Don't be scared of an orbital. Right? If they kill you on Ghost, and you're not in Ghost, guess what? They can't kill you when, they, when you know you can see them. When they know you can see them. Right? Let them be scared. Stop making it seem like everything is out to get you. And I, I kind of understand, like, what I just said just really hadn't made no sense at all. But give me a break. This is, it's like 6.30 in the morning, and I haven't even gone to sleep yet. So that's what I wanted to talk about the community. And I want all you guys' opinions. Like, for me, obviously, as being a, a YouTuber that has a big influence on the, like, community, I try my best to show like I when I don't care about like when I don't care about dying, I'm trying to teach you guys something like you can have fun and not worry about dying. A lot of you younger tryhards and let me explain and I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but people who are not as known as other YouTubers, you guys think you guys have it rough. Imagine being a YouTuber that has a big influence and that that nearly every single lobby you go to somebody at least one of those people out of those 30 are going to know you and try to kill you. Sometimes they're fans. Sometimes they're just haters and they try to kill you. So for all the people who are not known and you have maybe like maybe two or three people who don't like you, trust me, YouTubers have it way worse. You think shoot 'em up can go in the lobby without getting obliterated? No. Do you think arson go, go in the lobby without getting obliterated? No. Illex? No. Motmus? No. All the YouTubers have it way more rough than anybody who's not known. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but I'm trying to show you that it's not a big deal. I have a, and I know this is just, this is just a game, it's not real life, so I, I know it's going to sound like I'm compared to real life, but a lot of these YouTubers have a way tougher time in GTA than you guys think, right? Imagine if all, if, imagine if you were streaming and you had 300, 400 people, but maybe a hundred of those people just watched you because they wanted to kill you. That, that's really daily life, right? And earlier in this video clip that you guys are seeing now, I got obliterated three times in a row. Right, some of you guys only get obliterated once a day, and I know there's gonna be people that comment like, "Oh, I get obliterated ten times a day." Yeah, well, welcome to my life. Welcome to a YouTuber life. So, what I want you guys to do is take time to think of how you play, you know. And I want you guys to tell me how you guys play. You guys can sit in passive mode. You can worry about dying. You can do whatever you want, but I want you guys just to have fun with GTA. I want you guys to improve on GTA and sitting in passive mode, being worried about the orbital, caring about the orbital will not get you anywhere. It's going to sit you, you, I guarantee you the amount of days played on GTA, you're going to have a more amount of time in passive mode. I promise you, if you keep playing that road, if you keep going on that road. So yeah, I don't know what else to say in the video. But, um, yeah, make sure you guys all leave a like and subscribe. I understand I stuttered a lot, but like I said, it's like 6.30 in the morning, and I'm super tired. So, yeah, I'm probably going to upload this when I wake up, but who knows? I might even upload it earlier, but I doubt it. So, yeah, but, um...
I am in the video. Uh, I'll probably stream tomorrow or something. So I'll see you guys later. All right. All right.